What's up guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode of the CPA channel. Today we will be looking at the programming of Scratch program for your GCE revision. So we are going to work on del drone delivery. Now I've created a folder called um, Zero Night Scratch Revision in my project area. Now please transfer this to your workspace, the entire folder. All right? So I've transferred this to my desktop. So now this is the, con these are the contents. Right, and looking at the worksheet it's given to you in the guide right so you have to start check the folder now there shouldn't be this file over here okay the content should be just this right okay so you gotta be smart and check what the uh, sprites given to you is this for images and this most likely the sound and this is the scratch game itself so let's open this up Okay, I'm going to program from scratch. And I'm going to take a timing, right? See how long I take to program this. Okay, let's go. Now, within the stage itself, there are three costumes. Okay, we don't have to bother about this. It's already given to you. You win, you lose. Probably you're going to use broadcast for this. Okay, so I'm going to import the drone deliveries, the drone, the parcel, the pizza, and the track. Right, so there we go. Now let's toggle back the background to the normal stage. Now it is said that the. Okay, we're gonna. Now importing is already four marks, so I'm gonna rename them to get more marks. Drone, this guy is the parcel. This is the pizza, and this is the trap. Okay, now the drone itself automatically. What I'm gonna do at the start is to set up my four controllers. Now I like to do it this way so that it looks like a game console easier for me up down left and right and right arrow I am going to use the pointing right it's gonna point and move so up it's gonna point up this guy's gonna point to the left actually so I'm gonna change this to the left this guy's to the right And down. That didn't take too long. I'm gonna have to move them upwards, downwards. Right, so essentially it's gonna point, but we're gonna lock this. Okay, so let's test that. Okay, something's weird happens. Okay, so what we can do. Oh, this is not zero over here. Check. Point downwards. Yep, but the orientation is a bit out, so we're gonna lock this left to right. So, which is going to work properly. Okay, I've got some points there. Okay, now I have to, when green flag, look, I have to show. That's quite normal. Okay. Okay, now, for the puzzle, I'm going to work with the puzzle first. It has to show somewhere, right? So, show, and it goes to now the parcel goes to anywhere random right so i'm going to duplicate two random locations this is for my maximum x so maximum x in case you forget you can just go here so it's about two i'm going to give it 230 minus 230 and this guy is going to be about 230 all right maximum y is about 180 so i'm just gonna keep it to about say 160 Maximum and the minimum is minus 160, and there you go. Let's edit right. So let's test. You get you simply have to test from time to time. Yeah. Okay. So next is the if I touch the drone. So what happens if I touch the drone? Oh, I'm gonna 
obviously it's some Ching Yip. That's the Ching. So we're gonna import it over there and we can actually pass this over to the other sprites. Check this out. That way. Okay, so I pass over to the pizza and trap. Okay, I don't think the trap needs a sound. Okay, so to pass over to the pizza. Okay, let's go back to the puzzle programming. Touch the drone. What happens? I am going to play the sound. Ching. Oh, it's not touching the drone, right? So, I'm, oh, I created a score here. So make a variable score and timer, which already set earlier on. So we're gonna change the score by fifty. Okay, and let's hide this thing. So I would recommend you to hide it first before you change 50, right? So let's just, so it's right, it's over there, okay. Now what happens, something went wrong, there's no sound. Now why is that? Because we did not put a forever loop over here. Now this forever loop will help us with the continuous check. There you go, okay. So when I restart the game, Appears somewhere there, right? Now the code is the same for the trap and the pizza, so I'm just gonna pass it over to both of them. One, two. For the pizza, it is at a fixed location, so I'm gonna remove these two things over here. So the pizza is at 180 and 120, 180 and 120. It's right up there. Okay, let's test them again. Okay, test. Test. Okay. Pressing enter is similar to pressing the green flag, so they're moving around. Okay. So, so okay. Next, I will need to show the scores actually and the timer. Okay, the score is only 350. Now, what happened is because we did not reset the score. So, at the start, we shall set the score and the timer to zero. Right? Okay. So, there you go. Timer zero. So, when I touch this one, I get a 50. The score has changed to 50 and it's just 100. Right. S for the trap. There's no changing. So, but if I touch the drone, I need to broadcast losing. Okay. Broadcast game lose. Yeah. Okay. So, what happens when the stage receives game lose? I am going to change the costume to lose. Right. Just now, at the start, it should look stage and Later on, when I receive game win, right, I should change to game win, right? So let's test with oh, 50. Some of them have touched the pizza, right? You see, so we touch this guy, the trap, we're going to game loose, and I need to hide self. Yeah, probably a show. Okay, let's start again. Loose, right? Fifty, fifty. Now, if I score hundred, now if the score is equal to hundred, I should broadcast game win. But don't forget our forever, right? And okay, so let's try that again. Start. Let's go to them. Two, you win. All right. So we uh, have almost completed the game. Any doubts left? Okay. Now these two guys need to. When I receive game lose, I should hide myself. And similarly, when I receive game win, I should hide myself. So let's pass these two codes over 
to the other sprites. Okay. Alright, so one, two, you win. Alright. You lose. There you go. Okay, sorry. Now the drone has to start at any random position at the bottom of the screen. So it has to go to somewhere, right? You need to go to for all the sprites. Go to motion. Go to right. Okay, maybe set the score and then we go to random position at the bottom. So the X can be anywhere. So minus two O to two to O. So the Y at the bottom of the screen it should not be I can go down to minus one sixty and probably up to minus one hundred. So I'm gonna keep myself to the bottom of the screen, yeah. Okay, there you go. Okay, we're just gonna stop here for the moment. Okay, maybe not. Let's continue. Okay, now for the timer. For the timer, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set it up on stage, right? Now we know that the timer is at zero, so now I'm gonna do. Uh, Wait one second, this guy is going to change the timer by 1. Okay. And I'm going to repeat this 10 times. So the timer is going to change. 10, let's take a look. 1, 2, 3, yes, very nice. Okay, so if the timer is equals to 10, you don't have to put a forever for this. Just one time check. Alright. Okay, maybe now because this is after 10 seconds, right? If the timer is equal to 10, we is gonna just gonna broadcast game lose. Yeah. And then okay. You gotta put a stop script over here. Now for the Alibaba before the drone. Okay, play Ching. If I receive, uh, someone's gonna broadcast the game win. Okay, the person who broadcasts the game win needs to stop all because everything is done. So you gotta stop all here so the game is not, is not activated. Right? Because our timer is, is going on. So you have to stop if you win. Right? Okay. There you go, I took about 12 minutes to set the game up. Okay, let's test this. Okay. Game lose, oops. Oh. Let's start this again. Oh, I see the mistake here. Yeah. yeah. Alright, you just got to stop all. One. Two. It stops all, right? In four seconds. Say. Okay, timer is ticking away. Just gonna wait here for seven seconds. Oh, you lose. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, you lose. Okay, we've scored full marks for this game. Thank you for listening and learning. Alright, hope you subscribe to our channel and get those full marks you deserve.